Hi, my name is Dr. Ben Still, and I am an instructor of saxophone here at UNC Charlotte. And today I'll be talking about the South Central District Honor Band 1112 saxophone etude, which is D major from Hemi Voxman's Selected Studies. And it's a lyrical etude, uh, which means that uh, it's a little bit slower and can be played uh, with lots of expression. There actually isn't a tempo marking listed uh, on page 19 in the Voxman, uh, but there is uh, some words that give us sort of a, a general idea of how fast it needs to go. Andante con gusto, which means uh, slow, uh, but with uh, expression or taste. One thing that I really like to do with this etude is even though it's slow, uh, I do like to um, make sure that we're always practicing with the metronome um, and make sure that all of our rhythms are accurate, uh, making sure that we're playing um, with lots of dynamic contrast. There's lots of moments here where we can play piano and really show off the, our soft playing, um, as well as forte, um, and uh, having a really nice, big, robust sound. Uh, with the fortes, I would be just very careful about uh, not overblowing them because it's very easy to do that given the registers that are marked here. So I think that it's important to play this etude uh, very smooth and connected uh, with lots of really good air support. Even at our softer dynamics, uh, we tend to back off on our air support. Uh, we play with slower air when we play softer and we need to make sure that we increase the airspeed as it goes softer. Some practice strategies that I like to use is number one, I mentioned this before, but always use a metronome when we're practicing this. Again, the rhythm needs to be really clear and concise. The second practice tip is uh, uh, don't freak out when you see 16th notes. Um, sometimes uh, students, when they see 16th notes, uh, they're not quite sure uh, how they function rhythmically, but make sure you're using your metronome and just take them really slow. They're not as fast as you think. And I would encourage you to practice uh, breaking them down to smaller chunks and do repetitive practicing that way and then build it to the overall larger line. I would also practice this uh, etude without any of the ornamentation. There's trills and grace notes, just to get the, a sense of the core rhythm. And then slowly, as you get closer to the audition date, add the ornamentation back in. And um, I would also make sure that we mark all of our accidentals. There's a few accidentals in here that you'll miss very easily. And it's better to go ahead and just mark them. Don't be afraid to mark on the music. And last but not least, uh, I would definitely take all of the published breath marks. Um, they're there for a reason. This is an etude uh, with very minimal rests. And so um, you're gonna want to take all of the breath marks that are provided for you. My name is Dr. Ben Still, and I'm an instructor of saxophone here at UNC Charlotte, and happy practicing.